determine the equation of the least squares regression line for the data. Let's take a look at what's happening here. So truck drivers travel a certain distance and have a rest before traveling in further. Okay, makes sense. A driver kept record of the distance he traveled in kilometers on eight trips and the amount of time he rested in minutes. And the amount he rested in minutes before he continued his journey. The information is given in the table below. We have the distance traveled in kilometers, which is our X, and the amount of rest time in minutes, which is our Y. It's really helpful that they're telling us which one is the X and which one is the Y. Okay, sort of makes our equation simple. 1.1, we're supposed to determine the equation of the least square regression line for the data. Well, our equation for this is Y is equals to A plus BX. Basically, we need to find A and B. If we do that, we have the equation for the least squares regression line for the data. I've showed you how to do this before, but let's go ahead and do it again. We are going to use our calculator. So what you want to do, you want to press mode setup, and then you press stat, which is option three on this calculator that I'm using. After that, you press two, as you can see that it says A plus BX which is what we are interested in, okay? When you do that, you're gonna have this table. You enter your X variables and you enter your Y, okay? So let's go ahead and punch in the X. Uh, we have 180 followed by 200, 400, 600, 170, uh, 350, 270, and 300 okay after doing that we want to punch in the y values next to the corresponding x value so 180 is going with with 20 uh, 200 is going with 25 400 is going with 55 400 with 55 600 with 120 a big jump between 400 and 600 and then 170 is going with 15 350 with 50 270 with 40 and lastly 300 with 45 you have to verify that you've entered the correct data because if you make a mistake when you enter your data all your answers are going to be incorrect so after entering your data you press equals to a couple of times you press ac after doing that we have shift one and then we go to five regression it can be option six on a different calculator it doesn't matter but we want regression okay and then let's go ahead and determine a a will be equal to so we have a being equal to so let me press one and equals to if i do that i get minus 23.85 as the value of a okay now i'm interested in the value of b so i'm gonna press ac shift one five for regression and now I press 2 for B. B is equal to 0 0.23 if I round it off to two decimal places. So there we go. We have the equation for the least square regression line using our calculator. So we're going to have Y being equal to minus 23.85 plus B, which is 0 0.23 multiplied by X. So that is our equation for the least squares regression line. Let's move forward and do 1.2. So 1.2, if a truck driver traveled 550 kilometers, uh, predict the amount of time in minutes that the predict the predict the amount of time in minutes that he should rest before continuing his journey. So we are given an X, which is equals to 550. And we want the Y, which is uh, the amount of time so we are substituting 550 into this equation if we do that we're going to have minus 23.85 plus 0.23 multiplied by 550 i need to put that in my calculator so minus 23.85 plus 0.23 multiplied by 550 i'm getting 102.65 let me see if it makes sense. Uh, 400 is 55 
600 is 120. So 550 should be in between. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that answer. Uh, it makes a bit of sense, right? If it was 10 or if it was 300, then it wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, stories. Uh, let's carry on. Let's do 1.3. Write down the correlation coefficient for the data. Again, in order to do this, we have to use our calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. AC, shift, one, five for regression, and then we press three for R, the correlation, right? Uh, we get R is equals to, let's see, R is equals to 0 0.98. So, right, that is the correlation coefficient for the data. 1.4. Interpret your answer to question 1.3. Well, the phrasing of your answer will be different from probably other people. But basically, there's a strong correlation between the distance traveled and the amount of rest time. As you can clearly see, it is 0 0.98. If it was 0 0.2, 0 0.1, then there will be a very weak correlation between the X and the Y. But in our case, we have a very strong correlation. So the, fa the phrasing of that answer will be different, right? But basically, there's a strong correlation between the distance traveled and the amount of rest time in minutes. Yeah, that is 1.4. On the other hand, 1.5. At each stop, the truck driver spent money buying food and other refreshments. The amount spent in rent is given in the table below okay we have the amounts and the first question 1.5.1 calculate the mean amount of money he spent at each stop again we can use our calculator here uh, let me show you how so we press ac now we want to change our data so we're going to press mode setup and then we press three for test and now we press one for one variable. We are only interested on in one variable now. So we're going to have 100, 150, 130, 200, 50, 180, 200, 190. Okay. And then we press AC. We want the mean. So for the mean, we're going to press shift one. Now we don't press 5, but we press 4 instead. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the mean is X bar. That is option 2 on my calculator. When I press that, I'm getting 150. So that is my mean, 150. Okay, you can do this with your calculator or you can do this manually. I think answer only will be the full marks. If you write only the answer, you still get the full marks. I think that's how it works. Okay. Uh, you can say otherwise if that is not the case in the comments. And 1.5.2, calculate the standard deviation for the data. So, shift, 1, 4, obviously, and then we press 3. That is the sign for standard deviation. So, the standard deviation is, uh, our standard deviation is 50.497, so 50.5. That's our standard deviation. And the question that follows, 1.5.3. We want to know how many stops did the driver spend an amount that was less than one standard deviation below the mean. What does that mean? One standard deviation below the mean. So is the mean minus the standard deviation, uh, which is 50.5, okay? Uh, what do I get? I get 99.5. One standard deviation below the mean, okay? So anything less than 99.5. Uh, I think it is only 50, which is one standard deviation uh, below the mean. So at how many stops? At one stop, at only one stop, okay? That's where the amount spent was one standard deviation below the mean. Before I let you go, which question should I do next? Please leave a comment. Let me know which question you want me to do next.